Hello the internet, Matthew here, coming to you from the Hidden Away David Well Nature Sanctuary here in Nessaquag. It is a beautifully picture-perfect day here on the North Shore of Long Island. I want to thank you for tuning in and of course carry right along from the last vlog. Today we're going to talk about abandoning safety. On my first YouTube channel, More Than a Machine, I featured a vlog series called Brain Droppings, which I then continued on after I started this channel under the title Fresh Brain Droppings. This was my own humble homage to one of my personal heroes, the late great George Carlin. Carlin was a fellow New Yorker and an avant-garde comedian who shook the world with his off-kilter comments about society and his unbridled lust for going against the grain. He was more than simply shocking or sensational, however. He was a truly deep thinker, which was clearly evident in his offstage interviews. During one such interview, he said, I think it is the duty of every comedian to find where the line is drawn and to cross it deliberately. And that statement pretty much sums up his life's work. Hardened to the bitter and crotchety end, George was uncompromising in his belief that humanity was pretty much good at the core but that we simply had some bad habits that we often allowed to get the best of us. He spoke at great length about our shared experiences, which he believed were the most important things for us to focus on and laugh at together. George didn't care to stand on either the right or left end of the political spectrum, but rather called all authority figures and institutions out for their hypocrisy, stupidity, and callous disregard for the masses, particularly for the American people. Most importantly, however, George laughed not at, but with the darkness. In the way someone laughs with an old adversary who, after years of battling, has become a strange friend. For me though, what stands out most about Carlin was the way he started his career and the bold risk he took that launched him to national infamy and acclaim. When Carlin started his career in the 1950s, he was a clean-cut, suit-clad, mainstream comedian. He was part of a comedy duo that was funny, but largely unremarkable. He struggled for years with his partner before his act was finally caught by Mort Saul and Lenny Bruce, two older established comedians that were at the head of a budding counterculture movement. And the older pair offered to help their younger contemporaries find an agent. Lenny, the more irreverent of the older pair, saw himself in young Carlin and became somewhat of a mentor to him during his early development. Eventually, though, George split from his partner and languished in obscurity for a few years until he was finally seen by scouts and featured on the Merv Griffin Show in 1965. After that, the very same clubs that he had played in across the country for just a few dollars a night had suddenly become packed houses filled with people eager to hear his wacky routines like the Hippy Dippy Weatherman and the Indian Sergeant. Eventually, he even tried his hand at acting, which didn't pan out for him. And after his acting career had failed to launch, he then reached a crossroads and hit an identity crisis. As the 1960s dragged on, George would come to spend more and more time with the rock stars of his era, and would eventually come to see himself as a man who had spent a decade on the sidelines while his generation questioned the notions that they had been brought up to accept. In 1969, his discontent boiled over and he had had enough of playing it safe and decided to live authentically. He diverged from his usual safe comedy routine and spouted a few choice words for the status quo at his audience. His gamble got him booed off the stage at Las Vegas, but it would pay off big just a few short years later. And during those years of transition, he changed more than just his act. He traded in his clean-cut, polished appearance for long hair, a beard, and the clothes of a vagrant. Abandoning safety, the real man that he was had finally emerged. And in 1972, he had landed himself a record deal, and his first album quickly went gold and won him his first Grammy Award. George Carlin went from clean-cut comedy man to counterculture comic with a mainstream appeal by following Seth Godin's advice decades before Seth even wrote his first book. After George had endured a time of trials, he joined a fringe tribe, which was banded together on the basis of an idea, and eventually, word of what he brought to the conversation would spread far enough and wide enough so that his authentic message would become accepted by the masses. Now, George Carlin is not the only person to take a huge gamble and win, but he is my personal favorite, because it's in him I see what I hope to be my own future. Your assignment for this week is to tell us in the comments below 
Who is your favorite hero who gambled everything on authenticity and won? Is this somebody famous or someone you know personally? Tell us why they're at the top of your list in the comments below. I'll be back next week with another vlog and another assignment. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the little notification bell if you haven't already. Also, be sure you're following on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, all links to all relevant material from this vlog will be down in the description below. And if you've gotten something out of this video, please make sure you share it with others. For now, this is Matthew of Monster Health and Fitness signing off and reminding you that there is no portal to utopia. We're going to have to take the long way around.